Hey YouTube, this is Bill. You know, I've done a whole bunch of videos on the S1 Pro pair and pairing it with a subwoofer. And I actually said I wasn't, I was through with doing this. But just as for, for some fun today, I decided to move the little micro system up, upstairs. I have a two floor home. And I just wanted to see if it would sound any better. And if you look closely at the setup, it's very tight. So here is the listening position against a back wall. And then here are the speakers. So I didn't have a lot of room. And then I've caught, and there's the balcony. So I didn't have a lot of room to work with. So the speakers are five feet apart. And the listening position is about five feet. So it's almost a perfect tri triangle, which is good but five feet apart is, is pretty tight for speakers. So they call this near field listening. And I've never tried this before with a live sound system. So this was kind of just um, a test to see what it would sound like. So I'm using my little KRK 10 inch subwoofer. I've done another video about that. If you're interested, you can find it. And it's fairly close to that little wall behind it. And that gives it some extra sound reinforcement. If you look closely on the floor, I have a, a pedal that, that works with the KRK subwoofer, so I can disengage it, I can AB it, and that's what you find on a studio subwoofer. So that was kind of nice to be able to do that. And the subwoofer is about four feet from the listening position. Again, very close. So I, I was really pleased with the sound and it sounded like a much bigger system. I get kind of like, the only thing I can c compare it to is like listening with headphones. The speakers are so close to the listening position, it was kind of like uh, the speakers were, the music was surrounding you. And the bass from that little subwoofer was, was amplified, again, because of the near field position. It sounded like a much bigger subwoofer. So I was pleasantly surprised. Like I said, I wasn't planning on making this video but I think I just had to because I'm just uh, so pleased and shocked. So I want other listeners to maybe give something like this a chance, uh, give it a try, see how it sounds different than your regular system called near field listening. This is another factor of the excellent bass I got. I have the subwoofer against this short wall right behind it and I measured it. It's only about eight inches from the wall. So anytime you get push a subwoofer against a wall or even in a corner, which even gives it more, they call that sound reinforcement. And if you're within, um, within two feet of a wall, you get free bass. I use the Bose Connect app to connect the two uh, S1 Pros wirelessly. And you do have a choice of running them mono or stereo. So I use left and right stereo and I adjusted them by my ear so the, the right speaker was slightly louder than the left. And once I adjusted them properly from the listening position, I got a, I think they call it a, a stereo image where the voices sound like, the voices sound like they were floating right dead center between the two speakers. So if you close your eyes, when I close my eyes, the voices, I imagine the voice almost coming from the, the subwoofer, which was dead, which was in the center, but then slightly higher than ear level. And the voices sound like it was just right in the middle. It didn't sound like it was coming from a set of speakers. It sound, the voices sound like it was floating. And I think, I believe in the stereo world, the audiophile world, they call that imaging. I'm not absolutely 100% sure. Another view from this side. So I'm in a hallway here and like I said, it's very tight, but the acoustics, because of the way it is, it's much different than my other testing area that I've tested in. So maybe this hallway gives it a certain uh, different sound. I, I really don't know. The other factor that I'm thinking that might change things so radically is the fact that even though I'm sitting against the wall from the listening position, but behind the speakers, if you look, there's there's no other walls and the ceiling is very high and the next wall 
if you keep going back, it's like 30 feet from the speakers. Very large uh, living room I got. So I'm, I'm thinking that, that changes the acoustics completely. Uh, here is the track I used, one of my testing tracks I use. Peter Gabriel from the album So, That Voice Again. It's a very dynamic track. Uh, when I played it, I got it up to about 97 dB. And again, from this short distance, it just was enveloping the listener. It was like, I was completely, uh, like it was almost like I was on the stage with him. Okay, unfortunately, I can't play the track because of, you know, copyright issues. I wish I could. So just to review for the people who might have missed the other videos, this is a pair of Bose S1 Pros, and I have paired it up wirelessly. So here is the second speaker. And if you notice, there's no cable connecting it to the first speaker. There's one cable that you see from the S1 Pro that goes into the subwoofer from the line out. And then I'm using a power source because I don't have any power in the hallway here. So I'm using a portable power source that runs it fine. Again, I've done videos on that. So this is my micro system and it's easily transported. So like I said, I two days ago, it was in the downstairs and now I did, as an experiment, I moved it upstairs. Something you can't do with a regular hi-fi system. So that wraps it up, short video, but um, you might wanna give this a try, not necessarily with these speakers, but any speakers. This is called near field listening. If you can almost touch the subwoofer, even some people even use the subwoofer as a coffee table in front of them. It just changes the sound completely. It makes it, uh, you don't have interactions from the wall, so you really get the best benefit of the subwoofer. And um, it sounds like a larger subwoofer. This is a small 10 inch, and it kind of sounds like a 15 inch. So give this a try. Like I said, I wasn't planning on making this video, but it just sounded so great. I just had to. Hope you enjoyed. Comment down below. Later.